So you're having problems with starting your car this winter? You're looking for a device to check the car battery and alternator? Look no further, you found it! Hello guys, my name is Sorin and today I'm gonna show you how to make this simple car battery tester. What do we need for this project? A 12 volts car cigarette lighter plug and a mini panel voltmeter. There are many old car devices from which you can salvage a 12 volts plug, like phone or GPS chargers, seat warmers and so on. These mini panel voltmeters are very cheap, especially if you buy more pieces at once. I've placed international purchase links in the video description. I've tested it and you can see that it's very accurate. Let's dismantle the 12 volts plug and figure out how I'm gonna connect them. I'll keep the 10 amps fuse. Oh, it has a hidden screw. This will make my job much easier. These are the positive and negative 12 volts connectors. Now let's put the plug casing back together because we need to cut it. I'm going to cut it at an angle so that the voltmeter is pointing a bit upwards. To make the voltmeter display much visible in daylight, I'll use this semi-transparent plastic binder. To cut a small piece from it, I'm going to use these quite ugly, but very efficient, nutcracker scissors. As you can see, there is a big difference with this semi-transparent cover. I'll use two-part transparent adhesive to glue it on the display. It will take about 20 minutes to dry. In the meantime, let's heat up the soldering station and prepare the internal connectors. The side connector is the negative and the center connector is the positive. I'll use only two wires and they need to be shortened. We need some shrinking tubes as well. The LED display pins are too long. To better position the voltmeter on the 12 volts plug, the pins need to be cut. Now measure the wires, but cut them a few millimeters longer, so they have some room to bend until the device is finished. The negative and positive wires will be soldered in the same position as they were before, but the sensor input will be soldered to the positive wire, so it will measure the voltmeter supply voltage, which is the car battery voltage. I'll use some black electrical tape to cover the white sides of the LED display. I think it looks much better if the entire device is black.
We tightened the screw for the last time and put the fuse back. The car battery tester is almost done, we just need to add some adhesive between the 12 volt plug and the mini voltmeter. It will take another 20 minutes to dry. This is the final product. And now let's test it. The temperature is 5 degrees Celsius this morning. It's cold enough for all car batteries to be affected. First of all, let's test the battery with a multimeter before starting the engine. A fully charged battery should read 12.6 volts. My car was not started for two days and considering that last night we had a temperature of minus 3 degrees Celsius, the battery is fine with 12 volts but in these conditions it's recommended to charge the battery more often. The battery tester shows us 12 volts as well. If you have a manual gearbox, always press the clutch when you start the engine in winter to remove as much load as you can from the starter motor. When I turn the ignition on, the fuel pump starts for 3 seconds and the dashboard lights turn on, so the battery voltage drops to 11.6 volts. After the fuel pump does its job, you can start the engine. For a diesel engine with an old car battery, you should turn the ignition on 2 or 3 times and wait for the glow plugs to get hot enough, then start the engine. Let's turn on some consumers, headlights, heater fan and rear window defogger. The voltage dropped but it's still ok. And if you want to see some mechanical nerd in action, you should check out my other channel, just click the link above. Finally, when you turn the engine off, the battery voltage is starting to decrease to its nominal value. In this case, I had the engine running for only a few minutes, so the battery voltage stabilizes at 12.5 volts. Now you can test the battery and charging voltage from the comfort of your cabin. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.